New at 9, because of COVID-19, many businesses have to make tough decisions. As Alexis Wainwright reports, Easter Seals, Arkansas recently decided to furlough more than 90 people and close some of its programs. Because of COVID-19, businesses have to make tough decisions. Most recently, Easter Seals, Arkansas, here in Little Rock, has decided to furlough over 90 people and close some of its programs. This is unprecedented in, in, in my lifetime. During a time of difficulty and uncertainty, Easter Seals, Arkansas, has decided to let go of some of their staff in light of COVID-19. We took the action of furloughing 99 of our incredible staff um, starting next Friday. I talked with CEO Ron Ekstrand, who says health and safety is their priority. They were forced to close many of their programs down because of the numbers being bigger than 10 people. Without the income flowing in, we don't have the money to continue to pay them. So um, we wanted to give them a week's notice. He says they decided to furlough because they can still pay for those employees' benefits during this hard time. Over the weekend, we created a streamlined process for internal transfers for people who are in one of those closed programs. Although someone may be furloughed, they can still apply to another open position with a program that's still open. And because they serve people with disabilities, Extran says this isn't something they can just move to online only. That is a bit of a challenge uh, for us. We sometimes need support on the other end of the line, either a caregiver, an adult, or a parent to help facilitate. As soon as it's safe for them to open those closed programs, Extran says they'll call any of those employees who were furloughed to come back. We've been around 75 years and we hope to be around another 75 years. He's also calling on national and local legislators to not forget about the nonprofits during this time. Nonprofits are not at the table. We don't have lobbying budgets. We don't have um, large ability to contribute. So sometimes we are forgotten. There is a lot of unanswered questions about the future for Easter Seals, but right now they're just asking for donations. For more information on their story and how you can help, you can log on to our website. Reporting in Little Rock, Alexis Wainwright, back to you.